Hi, this is Carter from 355Z, and today I'll be showing how to make low profile screw joints. So, to start off, this goes off the concept that these Robosaur spacers are a quarter inch thick, and the thickness of a high strength axle is also a quarter inch thick. So, anything that has a high strength axle hole or uh, anything that has a quarter inch hole will be able to use this. To start off, uh, we need, obviously, a screw, washer, a spacer. So, I'm not, I don't have the right one, actually. This is a 0.5 inch, but you generally want one that's 1 inch or just longer than whatever you're trying to screw joint. So, and then washer and then nylon in that order. So, to start off, you want to measure the, the width of your gear or whatever you're trying to attach. So, this one is half an inch thick. And my spacer is just slightly longer than that. And basically, if you don't have a spacer that's slightly longer, you want to shave it down until it is just barely longer than this. And essentially what this does is it gives it a little wiggle room. So it's like less frictiony. Obviously, you can go a lot thinner than this. But that's just uh, what we kind of chose for this one. Additionally, these washers can be swapped out for thinner ones or thicker ones, whatever you have. But if you want it to be more low profile, then obviously thin thinner is better. So to start off, obviously you want to take your shaved uh, spacer, um, your screw, and you want to first put on a washer. So, and then put on the spacer. And then you want to put on whatever uh, component you're trying to attach. And then you're going to cap this off with another washer. So here, and then you want to take your nylock here. And so I'm trying to attach it onto this. So I would just put it on here. And then you just want to like lock it down with the nylock to the point where it's rigid, but it's also um, able to move and free spin on it. So I'll kind of show that. So as you can see here, I tightened it a little bit too much and it doesn't fr uh, free spin quite the way I want it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna loosen it just a little bit. And as you can see, it keeps its rigidity, but also is able to free spin smoothly. So as you can see, very rigid, just like there's also a little bit of slop. So this is mainly like, uh, good for teams that want to kind of make their uh, gears more low profile look nicer or if you have like drive trains where the uh, gear goes behind the wheel and you don't have like space for like an axle then you can also use this so yeah